as a user of a WHRCC, one thing you are going to come across a lot is vector path. So in this video, you are going to learn how vector paths work. There are three types of paths you need to be familiar with. A straight path, curved path, and closed path. The first type is a straight path. It has two features, anchor points and the path itself. The anchor point connects where a line starts and ends. But in more complex shapes, it can also indicate where a segment of a line begins or ends. The path is the line that is between those anchor points. The second type is a curved path. It consists of three features, anchor points, path, and a third feature called the control handle. The control handle allows you to control the curvature of a line in between two anchor points. For instance, the control handle on this side allows me to control the curvature of this side and vice versa. Finally, the third type is a closed path. A closed path is basically a complete closed shape. It can be a basic shape like a triangle, square, or circle. Or it can be something more complex. Closed paths are made up of the same three features, anchor points, path, and control handle. Because they are closed shapes, it is really easy to add color to closed path. For example, if I draw a basic circle, I can easily add a fill color of green inside the circle. Now, you can also add color with curved paths, but the fill is restricted to the areas where the path curves up or down. For example, if I draw a curved line with the pencil tool, you can see what I mean. Notice how the green fill color is restricted to the areas where the path curves up or down. So, overall, as you can see, vector paths are easy to understand. But this basic understanding will allow you to use drawing tools like the pen and pencil tools much more, much more effectively. So, that's it for this video here. And in later videos, you are going to learn how to use the drawing tools. So for more videos like this, please subscribe for more and thanks for watching.